nearly six inches tall. The 3,000 year old royal ornament is made of silver and gold and covered in expertly crafted decorations. This pectoral was really laden uh, with meaning. There are lots of hieroglyphs in there and it's inlaid with precious jewels. At its heart lies an object both eye-catching and unexplained. In the very center, there's a scarab beetle with the wings of a falcon, and this represents the god Ra, the sun god. This scarab is carved from a single piece of stunning glass. It's yellowy green, it's incredibly clear, translucent, but really is a perfect piece of glass. Too perfect. Across the entire planet, no other glass artifact this ancient is so flawless. Now, new research can reveal the secrets of Tutankhamun's scarab. Where did it come from? How was it formed? What makes this scarab so unique? The ancient civilization of Egypt. Buried in the sand and rock here are thousands of years of history, culture, and massive ancient monuments. And a hundred years ago, English archaeologist Howard Carter hits the mother load. Carter famously said when he was peering into the tomb that he had seen wonderful things. Carter has unearthed the tomb of the Pharaoh Tutankhamun, the boy king of Egypt's 18th dynasty. He died over 3,000 years ago. His tomb contains unimaginable treasures. There were about 5,000 items in the tomb, so it really was a fantastic moment in history. Statues, gold, jewelry, chariots, model animals, and of course, the famous sarcophagus and mask of Tutankhamun himself. It is one of the most important discoveries in the history of archaeology. Hidden amongst these treasures, Carter finds the most extraordinary object. Tutankhamun's pectoral. At its heart sits the scarab beetle, made of a glass unlike anything else from ancient Egypt. The scarab was extremely symbolic and important for the ancient Egyptians. It represented, amongst other things, transformation. 